thing. On this week's Boiler Tip, we're going to take a look at an extremely important aspect of any steam boiler, and that's the sight glass. Um, a sight glass is essential, and it's required by code that we have an operating sight glass because it's what we call a direct indicator. We're seeing the actual water level in the glass, and that's going to tell us where it is in the boiler. Um, one of the problems we can have with sight glasses is maintenance, however. There are, fortunately, a variety of different types of sight glasses, and we can look at different options depending on our application. This is a fairly typical sight glass, similar to what we'll see on both low pressure boilers, which this is, and high pressure boilers up to 150 PSI. Um, this has a red line sight glass. The red line on the back is really just to enhance visibility. It's not an indication of the pressure rating, but it does give us a little distortion, which shows us more clearly where the level is at. Um, sight glasses are gonna have isolation valves for maintenance, and this one has a nice guard on it, so it can't really be accidentally struck with a ladder in any direction to protect it. Um, one of the drawbacks of this style sight glass is that the gaskets it uses are little rubber gaskets, and sometimes it's a little tricky to find the balance between tensioning or tightening those enough that they don't leak and cracking that tubular sight glass. So if we have a cracked or leaking sight glass, we need to do maintenance, but sometimes, especially if we've got a unit that we shut down every day, bring up every day, um, this type sight glass might suffer a little bit and be more prone to leaking. If you've had enough of sight glass issues and you wanna just go full overbuilt, an armored sight glass like this is something we use in our rental fleet because the constant change of temperature, starting them up, shutting them down. Um, we don't have sensitive little black rubber gaskets in there. Um, we've got graphite gaskets, and when properly assembled and torqued, uh, these gaskets can go uh, a much longer duration without requiring maintenance. Of course, everything on this is a bit overbuilt for a 150 PSI boiler. Um, you can see the valves on here, and uh, the construction, but this is a very durable, solid sight glass. One note, this sight glass has a prismatic back on the glass, which gives us the clear versus black indication. And that is good, um, especially since we have a membrane in the middle of this glass. We can't put a flat glass on here. We have to have that prism um, on the back so that it's clear um, exactly where the water level is at all times. So if we don't want to go with the bare minimum and we don't want the nuclear option, um, this is a sight glass developed pretty much just for the 150 PSI market. Um, it's got some of the flat plate um, durability of the Super Duty sight glasses, not a technical term, um, but it's a little bit lower price point because it's not built to be rated for, you know, 2000 plus PSI and we don't need that. So what's nice about this is they've designed it to fit the normal operating range of a fire tube boiler. So if you're looking for a middle of the road option that eliminates the constant maintenance, um, but doesn't bust the bank, this is a good option.